make sure we're live. Kick in. Nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. And today is February 4th, 2020. And we're doing an open discussion on relationship, the do's and don'ts of human interaction. And we've done a, <coughs> a couple of these so far, I believe. Two, three, four, maybe. Uh, I'm just going to pop out the chat. And... Uh, basically the discussion here today is just going to be uh, our societies ourselves the way we interact with other people friends family it could be on a group basis even global it could encompass geopolitics as well because those are relationships right uh, but in general um, these discussions have been about our own personal interactions uh, and they're fun. Uh, we learn a lot and uh, we try to figure things out. As, uh, as most of us know, if you've lived long enough, you realize that uh, most of the intense feelings you have in life, some of them anyway, both positive and negative, are because due to our interaction with other people. Uh, again, positive or negative right so we're putting some time aside to talk about it uh, it usually takes a little bit of time for people to pop in okay i still <coughs> have a little bit of cough left i've been talking a lot lately uh so that's stressing out the the vocal cords let me show you i got uh, my tea as always as almost always right got a glass of nice big glass of water <laughs> and i got some homemade mum made cookies like this with uh what's that stuff called on top icing sugar or something like this these are almond cookies they're very delicious very good they're moon shaped <laughs> there's like four left out of old box we got so i've been munching on these uh, i'm going crazy with that stuff um yesterday or yesterday two days ago we had a current events live stream tomorrow we're gonna have a live stream on mathematics um, a couple hours from 2 to 4 p.m pst we're gonna uh, open up the have a two-hour session and talk about high school math if you need help you can pop by ask questions and we'll try to help you out uh, there's a f some people that pop in that know their mathematics very well during those math streams uh, most of them better than better than i <laughs> right uh, and then uh, the next day we're doing uh, live stream evening stream on uh, the coronavirus okay where i put out a video already during a math stream it came up let me bring that video up, 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 up. um it just came up i'm not sure why we ended up doing the stats for that it just popped up right and uh, we sort of just basically with the data that we had we graphed the growth of the coronavirus and did a sort of estimate of what might be might what might not be right where things are going uh and we have more data since uh we did this stream and uh i've already i've already created a spreadsheet and graphed some of the data just to see what it looked like just to give myself a visual okay let's see what it is so we're going to continue on from that uh, i really want to take a look at the data uh, that to me is uh, is the interesting part about it uh, just to see what the growth factor is and whatnot uh, i hope it dies out soon uh, and it looks like it's going linear right it started off exponential and it looks like it's growing linear the infection rates anyway okay as i learned that i'm gonna have a little bit of cookie 
while we chill uh, and we can talk about stuff i'm i'm okay just <laughs> just random going off on random topics right but they're like nice like a wet napkin race or kill how are you doing these cookies are addictive i've pounded back a few so far very good very delicious by the way uh earlier today i released the uh, julian assange wikileaks live stream that we did part six in december the live stream we held in december i forget what it was december 9th maybe um but i'm only releasing it on bitshoot i didn't release it on uh, on youtube it was a little bit on the it won't pass the youtube sensors uh the video will get nailed and will be flagged on youtube so it's only available on uh bitshoot that one and i went through part seven and that one is okay to load on uh youtube so we'll be loading that on youtube as well um it will go on bitshoot and we'll go on youtube and i'm cutting out one segment from part seven to load up solo as long as the processing works out should be up tomorrow okay just give everyone a heads up and then we'll figure out what we're going to do for the next julian assange wikileaks live stream lonely piggy how are you doing yo yo hope everyone's doing solid this week so far i think people are coming out of the the insane january that we had i know a lot of people that are burnt out me included to a certain degree right me included to a certain degree i have students that are like exhausted they can't wait till summer and january just started just because of uh like the the in my part of the world anyway because we're a hub for asia uh, i have students that are going to school and many of the kids are wearing masks right so that for teenagers for adults it's traumatizing adults uh, kids are being traumatized now right agreed same here january was a crazy way to start the new year so much so quickly yeah el rapido it was like boom 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 you couldn't even people weren't even take take a breath right Just went bomb, bomb, bomb. i had students at the beginning of january talking about world war three and all the memes that they were sharing about world war three and then as soon as that sort of died down and you had the zombie apocalypse linux master linux master are you trying to be a bad boy if you are i might time you out instantly <laughs> I'm, I'm very chill mode right now but uh, uh i like to stay that way <laughs> you're welcome to chill out i just show pictures of me no linux no links allowed <laughs> no links allowed you should create a what do you call it twitch channel and live stream live version of you <laughs> why 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 pics <laughs> hi cutie hey zoot how are you doing still getting uh things back in order from the super bowl party oh my god what a chaos just going to lurk which is probably a good thing probably maybe <laughs> it's pretty quiet right now sparkle how are you doing how's life he's very chill right now it's funny some of these streams we get like ah, crazy amount of people popping in and <laughs> some of the streams are like la 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 which is fantastic right which is fantastic they're both great love both of them right um, it's like 
<laughs> X, how are you doing? <laughs> Linux, don't, 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 don't trim your bear. <laughs> your bear might not appreciate being trimmed. <laughs> Oh no, it looks good. Uh, start live streaming. Linux, you're on Twitch. Start live streaming. Yo, Dante, how's it going? How's life? We starting off today with a laugh. Fantastic. We like it. Starting with a laugh is great. Maybe because I'm eating cookies. I took a bite out of this one already. I'm going to pop the rest of it. These are homemade cookies. Mum made them almond cookies i got the recipe for these i know how to make this but i haven't made for 10 years but i am gonna pop this <laughs> i no longer have a torso spectral <laughs> i tried to trim my bear yesterday i no longer have a torso <laughs> oh my God. delicious It's like the best biscuit style of cookie with tea. It would go amazing with coffee as well. Actually, it does go amazing with coffee as well. Once we get into making pastries, I'm going to show you guys how to make these as well. Linux, check this out. I'm going to time you up, brother. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I brought out a thing image again. Time out. I timed you out, brother. We can do silly talk another day. Okay. Garlic cookie, I see. No, <laughs> no garlic cookie. <laughs> Almond cookie. <laughs> I'm not popping garlics, but I should be actually. Well, uh, Hola, Gavin. How are you doing? I wouldn't mind. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind finishing off the jar of pickled garlic that I started. I just got to do it when I don't have students. Can't eat a jar of pickled garlic and go teach mathematics to kids. <laughs> they have a hard enough time paying attention when they're learning math. Let alone with the, the tutor, the teacher talking to them with a garlic breath. They go crazy, right? Como esta? Bueno. Gracias. I think that's all I know. A cerveza. An hola. That's right. On topic, though, I've been trying out the various dating apps these last few months since I haven't really had the time or, honestly, the will to go out. I'm not a big club guy, and the slightest bit of drinking gives me headaches. The apps work fine, but conversation never really goes anywhere. It's a struggle. I I did a little bit of app um, online stuff way, way back. Um, when was it? Oh, God, I can't remember. 20 years ago when when they came up, right? Uh, it was it was OK. It was for socializing. Uh, made some friends, short term friends and stuff. Um, it, yeah, it's there's there's a barrier right when you meet people initially there's very few people that that's why a lot of in just so people know in the western world i'm not sure where everyone's from but in the west in canada anyway and the united states clubs are huge because that's a place where you uh people drink and stuff like this and socialize and whatnot but and listen to music and whatnot but um when the when people start drinking it reduces your in inhibitions right so people open up more so what needs to happen is people need to spend a little bit extra little bit more time together and really don't be in a rush uh, to allow people to drop their barriers um, it's it's a tricky thing it's a tricky thing um, it's a tricky thing trying to meet people i mean you can join clubs and stuff but again that's very focused on that one thing you are not 
your entertainment right you are who you are you have multiple things that you like to participate in it just takes time and luck you know what what i found out finding the right person to chill with for a while or indefinitely has a lot to do with luck as well big a lot to do with luck right and persistence sometimes interesting topic today we all admire traits we don't have I can still admire others because I'm not stuck in my own vision. That's a great, uh, uh, that's a great way of putting it for sure. And one thing I, I, I've been lucky. I don't, you know, whatever it is, I've been lucky. But the luck that I've had with relationships is I've, for a lot of my important relationships, I have taken a lot learn a lot through those relationships right so one thing i look for in uh in relationships is what zoot mentions here where you're they have something that you don't have or they have something that you you admire you like and you like being around because slowly you're incorporating some of their loves into your life so you're taking that on and hopefully they're taking on something from you so it's all about sharing and growing right so any any long-term meaningful meaningful relationship you've ever been may it be on a friend level on a family level on an intimate level whatever on a work level social whatever it might be uh try to learn through all of those relationships right uh it's incredible it's living life right that goes part into your resume of the experiences you've had the type of people you're you're able to interact with and whatnot and if you're if you're a male and if you can grow facial hair i highly recommend living life both with and without facial hair right and sometimes go large and sometimes take it all off right because your outward expression really decides what doors are open to you or whatnot right uh, really living life with a goatee is different than living life with a full beard than living life uh, without any facial hair yeah i feel cozy today today is today i've been working early on editing processing da, 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 doing the stuff uh, i was doing a lot before the stream started because during the stream i wanted to be whew, nothing on my mind just taking care of business right just chill chill uh, and then after this i'm not sure what i'm gonna do but uh, i got more work to do that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> right uh, function a b goes to a a plus b equals zero is z times z to z is not injective but surjective so it's a, <laughs> it's a bijective <laughs> it's not <laughs> bijective <laughs> just goes i don't know I found some of that hilarious, but I, I, I have a, I have, a, I'm hoping that there's a really intricate mathematical layered joke in there as well that I'm, it's above me, but that cracks me up, All right? More in depth. Lonely Piggy, I'm not a shy or timid person either. I can talk to anyone about anything, both in person and online. There's definitely a lot of people on dating apps who, it seems, are super willing to meet up i've you know what lonely piggy i encountered that as well back then right i can't really blame them either our social society sees a lot of paranoia my last relationship was found through an app but it didn't last long since both of us were mostly in it for the action don't think i'll be finding anything worthwhile on an app um lonely piggy I, whenever i found whenever i say whenever i've said uh, i said oh it's, it's, i give up or it's not gonna happen it's, it happens right so it, it, i i wouldn't be go to that level even though i do as well all right just a little thing of encouragement um and i agree with you i don't blame people for being you know cautious uh we live in a pretty crazy world right now right with a lot of a lot of i don't even know what you call it like i've 
uh, personally the i i'm glad i went through a lot of the dating experiences that i've had during a different period in our societies where people were more chill more relaxed people were more a little bit more open uh, less superficial less about image more about content to a certain degree the from the first get-go anyway right you know people didn't have pages on themselves with lots of pics and stuff like this you had to work at it a little bit there wasn't a history of someone online that you could you could look at right before meeting up with them and talking with them and you know f forgetting about the small talk and getting into the deeper conversations right i think a lot of this initial exposure of people saying who they are what they like and all this jazz is is preventing a lot of people from digging deeper into why some of these things are or what made them so right it's there's a lot of noise to go through hey chicho long time no see did you happen to hear about the passing of the yeah i heard about neil perth and trepid brother oh sad 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 brain tumor right if i recall correctly brain tumor i didn't know he was sick i didn't know he was sick uh he was one of the greatest uh musicians and lyricists in rock and roll history in music history really like neil pert's lyrics he wrote most of the lyrics for those of you who don't know neil pert was a drummer for rush canadian band and progressive rock band i guess you could call it but they had you know they went all over the place and they were they've been around for 40 years right and neil pert was the drummer for rush and rush was a three-member band neil pert stuart copeland and uh, alex lifeson and neil pert was a drummer uh, sorry getty lee jeez i'm giving the police name <laughs> getty lee. neil pert getty lee and alex lifeson Al uh, getty lee was the bassist and the singer and alex lifeson was the guitarist right so three-piece band bass synth getty stay away from the synth right and guitar with drums right all three of them were considered to be three of the greatest musicians of our generation for the last like however long they've lived right since the 1970s up to now they were considered to be three of the greatest musicians in their fields right with guitar there are others but they were in the top five of anyone right neil pert not only did he do the drums for the stuff and you you watch neil pert play the drums you'd be blown away he wrote most of the lyrics for rush you read the lyrics for rush it will blow you away right amazing 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 neil's lyrics changed my heart yeah for the better right it's insane how great they were being only made of three people yeah agreed hell i've been on the fence about meeting with a few matches myself too then again you don't go around asking a complete stranger found through an app to meet up right away yeah like you said a lot of noise to go through first you can you can easily tell what a person is looking for through that first bit of conversation some rush others take their time yeah the first meetup the first meetup you realize yes or no you could have read everything they did you could have talked for online you could have talked for weeks and then when you meet in person it's just not there right so you, you spend all that time getting to know each other which is okay but um you, you could have interacted with others as well right what was wrong with me linux um uh, that, 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 that. what did you say before i forget what you said linux uh you said what did you say uh if i wanted to see pics of you or something i'm just not you know the conversation we're having right now is more chill more general um there's a lot of places linux a lot of places you can go to to have the conversation you want from the looks of it uh online there are countless places to go to really really 
But some places will love it if you want to show show them your pics. <laughs> oh, that is a band. Boop, boop. <laughs> Linux, you're out. <laughs> See, we have auto mod running too, so it zaps things, right? Yeah, intrepid, very sad. But you know what, man? Pert, or I found out he wanted to be called Pert. I call him Pert all this time, but I'm gonna call him Pert, Neil Pert. Uh, he lived his life to the fullest dude the guy did well right he had one life to live and he lived it well N no one can ask for more no one can ask for more right we have almost 8 billion people on this planet 7.9 billion of them probably would be ecstatic to have to be able to say that we had one life and we lived it well right surely talking to people online lets you meet the real person rather than what people display in public no uh atomic 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 um yes it can i agree uh, i have friends that have met people online where they're together they're intimate they've been together for a long time and stuff like this for sure for sure for sure um not not talking down on online meeting i've done it myself uh, i've had amazing relationships where i've met people online right uh, or if they've contacted me online and we've met and the conversation takes off and we hit it off for sure for sure but there's a you have to put in a lot of time right finding going through the noise and being selective if you are selective if it's not just a you know on on a kink or superficial or whatever it is if you want an in-depth uh understanding of who the person is you're going to be interacting with it takes a lot of time to go through a lot of profiles to find people you want to reach out to right it really depends zoot eduardo how are you doing welcome welcome zoot how mathematical mathematically uh, quantify life comes movie creator think about how many times you think about that other person in a day subtract the number of times you think about yourself if it ends up a positive number that's love that's like zoot that's that's blackjack card counting do you do you when the when it's positive do you do you pound the bet <laughs> that's love here here i'm 23 now i've been dating on and off since high school long distance open with benefits don't think i really know what i want yet uh, which i feel might be keeping me from meeting the right people lack of will to go out most days too surely a uh, lonely piggy you're 23 brother i have i tell i tell people this right i say like 20s for most people that i know is a blur for me as well blur right i could honestly say i had my head up my ass in my 20s even in my 30s right so my thing that i tell people i don't know if it's a joke or i mean it or whatnot but i do mean it right so but don't take everything i say with a grain of salt for me i it, generally i tell people that no male is ready to commit uh, to a long-term relationship unless they're at least 35 so for men 35 or more is when they're they sh they're almost grounded they they know what they want and whatnot right for women i say 30 or more so 30 plus 35 plus that's when if you want to get it really serious settle down with someone and stuff like this sure uh, before then it's, a, it's <laughs> do as you will right within reason of course we're still growing during that period coming out of our education system people graduating high school you have no idea who you are 
zero. You have to spend the next 10 years trying to figure out what it is that or how it is you want to interact in the world. Yeah, I guess. And being online also um, opens you up for people to like more pathologically than in person. Yeah. And it becomes your imagination sometimes take over. You expect too much before you meet people, you talk to them. So you create your own persona to a certain degree. I'm literally losing my mind. They are rigging the primers. Yeah, Dante. <laughs> Dante, you know, I feel everyone. I, I feel, you know, I feel the pain. I feel like really majority of people want want our societies to be what we think they can be right but man we talked about there's there's no way the dnc is is a legitimate institution the democratic is a legitimate institution that gives a rat's ass about the american people it's run by oligarchs technocrats whatever you want to call them there's no like they're going to try to rig it again for sure they rigged it in 2016 that didn't rouse people up people thought that was a one-off event hell no we talked about this of course the bernie sanders tulsi gabbard the okay we'll deal with this right now just because it's it's come up for me the best results coming in coming out of these elections to 2020 elections would be if the democratic party splinters creates two different parties and if the republican party splinters and creates two different parties the most ideal situation the best case scenario right for the 2020 elections everything else is garbage right the best case scenario would be in 2021 we see four parties in the united states of america that would be ideal the rest of it no sleepy waves how are you doing 28 to 34 for a woman 20 yeah 20, I, I would say above 30 a lot of anuj a lot of women uh, females I, I don't know what the ter correct terminology is anymore you know i, I really don't it blows my mind <laughs> i cannot uh, speak english on this on this level right but uh for me 30 or more for women because for men in the late 30s they get antsy in the uh late 20s they get antsy for women there's a lot of women getting antsy in the late 20s and late 30s as well right so transitioning from 20s to 30s and 30s to 40s gets people really anxious both men and women right there's a timeline for women uh for sure the biological timeline so theirs is much more intense to a certain degree uh but both men and women feel that so i would say not the late 20s i would say early 30s is okay early 40s is okay late 20s and late 30s dangerous right uh there's a lot of chaos there you're right about it it takes 10 years after call it takes 10 years yeah but some people are naturally so mature and they, they are but our world our society is whack atomic thank you very much for the twitch prime sub appreciate it lonely piggy man the crazy times for me were 18 to 21 did lots of stuff experienced different vibes now i'm much calmer with my goal set straight and trying to carve myself a path i've ended relationships that i had going since the very beginning of high school cool burn some bridges some i regret but don't see myself moving backwards only for awesome lonely piggy the burning bridges i did as well when i was younger and then as i got older i burned less bridges because you have less bridges to burn right you've already been a whole bunch of burning already right um but it's always nice to clean house it's always nice to clean house like you can't keep a ton of relationships from high school everyone grows and changes and stuff right four party system anuj that's the ideal thing coming out of the elections <coughs> sleepy waves chicho what advice would you give for trying to figure out what you want need in relationships i am in a current situation where a friend of mine are occasionally hooking up and she isn't available emotionally with with a friend of mine 
uh, or occasion. However, I can't tell if uh, if truly require that emotional bond to continue or dynamic. Um, talk to your partner, uh, Sleepy Waves, or talk to your friend. Ask them what they want as well, right? You can't. A relationship is a two-way thing, right? So whatever you want your relationship to be with your friend, friend ben benefits, partner, and stuff like this, really important to communicate. Don't be overwhelming. Don't don't force your opinion and say, I want this and I don't want anything else, right? If I can't have this, I don't want any. Like, don't put yourself in a corner where you're forcing the other person to either commit or move away, right? If you care for them, and hopefully if they're, they're friends, your friends before you hooked up, then you like them for who they are, not for the benefits you have being more than friends, right? So don't burn your bridge by putting yourself in a corner to a certain degree, and don't burn your bridge by uh, making them feel extremely uncomfortable. Just ask them if they're willing to go deeper or not, right? Or if they're okay with this. So some it might freak some people out right so be gentle know your audience know the person you're talking to saucy hey chicho good to see you on awesome saucy good to good to have you here saucy rossi double or oh seven not double oh seven i think to be honest the biggest issue issue when you're young you believe love is the key factor but what you want is to be content and love each other that way which comes with age yeah and one thing regarding that atom uh, atomic mentions as well in any relationship go into the relationship in the mindset that you're going to try to make their life better and hopefully they're doing the same thing for you so that might that might mean you're going to take on some of their burdens that might mean you're going to help them out when they're in a jam so what your intention should be in going into any relationship of course is to learn to grow to to be intimate to to have people to have someone to listen to and share your emotions and stuff but one of the key factors should be you're there to make their life easier right to help them out and if you go into that relationship with that mentality initially your partner might not feel the same way or you know if you're just starting out they might be hesitant or they might not understand what it is that you're doing but slowly if it's not being reciprocated right if you're if you need help they're not there if you explain to them listen one of the key factors in your relationship is for you to be there for them and you would appreciate it if they were also there for you right uh, so for sure it's not and people just say oh love love there's love is one emotion it must also it's, it's got to be a mix of everything right and some people confuse the lust with love as well right hi chicho g gian millie 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 can i call you millie hey chicho i love your how to read a textbook video nice that's it was it was a good video to do i liked it i've been meaning to do that video for so long uh going to going to the topic i know myself uh too long term uh i know my myself two long-term couples which first met using tinder i used to look at date apps suspiciously but now i changed um my mind a little bit yeah for sure uh millie we talked a little bit about it's already come up a little bit regarding dating apps right um, they're, they're a good source they're a good place to start if you want to start right if you don't know where to start it's not a bad place to start uh, and you get out of it what you be and one thing about the dating apps be honest if you if you're just looking for benefits for intimacy say so right if you're looking for casual say so if you're looking for long term say so right it cuts out the noise it cuts out it allows people to decide if they want to be there or not and if you think everybody's looking for long-term intimacy you, you're wrong there's a lot of people both male and female that are looking for short-term pleasure right so whatever you're looking for be honest to yourself fill out the forms explain yourself and for the ones that 
you know you require writing something write something legit like don't go generic speak from the heart if that's what you want right if you're into just pleasure explain what it is that you want pleasure from right and man you'll get hits right according to what you're looking for be honest basically chicho any tips for handling handling anxiety and or panic attacks ah uh, saucy rossi um for me I, I've, I've been in situations where i need to get away right i need i need escape and i leave right uh situations where your heart's pounding like mad uh, i usually breathe it out i usually realize i tell myself that you know i don't have enemies here and by the way this is this is in a safe space that you're in if you're in a bar and or a club and there's serious encounters happening and aggression being shown you should feel anxiety and anxious your heart should be pounding you should be on your guard and get yourself out of those types of tight situations right so we're not talking about uh situations that come up that really deserve uh for your anxiety to go up because that's uh you know what is a fight or flight mode kicks in right but if you're in a situation a social setting that you're feeling anxious and nervous and stuff like this just realize that everybody we're all the same everybody's feeling the same damn thing right chill breathe like i don't i i, I really uh it has varied for me so much right and i don't think i get anxiety attacks the way uh some people do right and i've been around people some people when they get anxiety attacks or they start sweating and they freeze up and whatnot um, i think when the time to stop it is way before then when you're starting to feel the anxiety find a corner find somewhere where there isn't so much motion and breathe a little and maybe listen to listen for that music in the background playing or something like this right i'm not sure if this is good advice or not man uh, because anxiety and stuff i know a lot of people deal with it in a big way uh, i don't think i'm one of them right even though i've had times where the heart's pounding man the sweat's kicking in right communication is key but sometimes that's not the easiest thing to do no no it's the hardest thing to do actually hey chicho hana how are you doing chicho, not sure i told you but i got a new job uh with a microsoft vendor so excited i start monday nice you did say you got a new job a while ago um i think this is the one you said the previous uh bosses weren't treating you well and stuff and you found this new job where i got confused i thought these were the the bad people that's cool man congrats so you don't give people like me much of a chance married and started popping out midgets in college i'm not the big 30 yet i don't care about the sexual act involved in cheating what i care about is the reason why you need to do it Zut, i agree all right and that is all about the communication you have with your partners right <laughs> popping out little midgets straight out of college <laughs> atomic is difficult because no matter your age love really clouds every man woman's judgment yeah we're all we've all been there right if that person after all the basic relationship stuff doesn't doesn't make you happy then your life will not be uh fulfilled yeah and it'll become miserable like there there are times there's people that i've seen that love each other but man they should not be together right they're just destructive together right i think i need to take a bill hicks break saucy ross bill hicks break that's one thing that definitely does it for me i haven't had to i haven't not had to i've had to take one but i've been so busy i haven't had the opportunity to take one <coughs> i will be this year though i will be this year though for at least a couple of weeks bill hicks breaks are the best and well i can't say how can a person engage in love making with multiple partners without offending the original part uh hannah it's easy you can communicate 
there's open relationships all the time some people don't like them some people swear by them right breathings helps so much yeah it sounds like you're looking for polyamorous yeah huh. I got so jinx writing that long comment and you missed it brother I hope someone got some use for it it was for the for the heart Nikki what did you write Nikki your comment didn't pop up oh did we miss a comment it didn't show hey Chicho sleepy waves is there an is there an emotional exercise tool that can help that can be helpful in identifying what you need from relationship meditation meditation spend time alone spend time alone think deal with the noise clean out your house clean out the garbage get rid of clutter get rid of all the things that are high frequency right in your life and spend time alone solo walks beach just looking at people go sit somewhere in the city by yourself and just watch people people watch see how people interact figure out what it is that you're interested in i'm in a space where i have capacity to share my life with someone else but i i'm also working on my self career also i am dating with the intention of it being casual not looking for long commitment but i do require some emotional intimacy but i'm not sure how much like what kind of emotional capacity i would expect from a partner hope that makes yeah for sure it makes sense uh, sleepy waves there my recommendation would be reduce the amount of casual dates you're going on really but it's hard to meet someone that you're looking for in a longer term thing right but if you know something is just casual when you're dating someone reduce the frequency that you're meeting up with them that's going to open up time space freedom for you to maybe start encountering people that you want a longer term relationship right a lot of people are afraid to let go of something that they're they're enjoying to possibly make room for something that they really want to immerse themselves in right so if you're busy every night exaggerated but let's say every night you're going out on a casual relationship how can you meet someone on a more longer term relationship unless you guys are just going out as friends and mingling with other people right so it's it's all a matter of timing budget right do do a to-do list what do you have time for what don't you have time for if you don't have time for this and you want to make it a part of your life reduce the amount of you know you have to compromise you have to sacrifice a little right I guess it wasn't meant to be oh it wasn't meant to be Nikki do you think it's better to spend more time around the lover to get to know them or time apart um, time together for sure initially time together 100% but if you spend too long together you start taking it for granted and you might get in each other's nerves so you do, do need the solo time but if you're starting out to get to know someone I'm a full firm believer in go ballistic like I've known people that you know they're really interested in a person both of them right and they date for five years like two three you know one to two to three nights a week they're together right I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum if I if I find someone interesting you immerse yourself you see them a lot way more than two or three times a week right and that way if you don't mesh well together at least you found out in six months instead of three years right so i'm full believer in jumping in how can i find out if my company drug tests uh, i want to smoke recreational cannabis but don't know if they drug test most tech companies don't uh, look in their look on their website if their website is doesn't say anything talk to a co-worker that you trust or talk to your boss say hey listen uh 
because you're in Washington, Hana, cannabis is legal. What you could say, you don't have to say that you smoke cannabis. You could say, oh, I go to parties and there's people smoking and, you know, I have friends that smoke. Uh, it, you know, I'm still breathing in the air. That stuff might get into my blood system. Do you guys test? If you guys test, then I'll stop going to those parties, right? Then they can't hold you against it, right? I'm not the biggest fan of open relationships myself, even though I've been in one in the past. It always keeps me on the fence thinking what if a lot. I tend to be a uh, pretty jealous partner, but I'm working on that uh, part of myself. Cool. And there's nothing wrong with wanting a monogamous relationship. I think that's fantastic. Most people do. Most people don't want polyamorous. I think it's polyamorous, right? I recently got uh got told i was i was laid back and carefree as a criticism what do you think would be the best way to contradict that <laughs> i would just say thanks <laughs> maybe that's just too carefree right carefree and uh, too laid back and carefree yeah ask them what uh, what you want them to be pissed on <laughs> pissed off about <laughs> right <laughs> tell them what really gets your blood flowing right i don't know i usually i can't i i don't take that as a criticism right i don't even know how that could be given as a criticism oh you're too laid back and too too laid back and carefree I would just turn to them, laugh, and say, I care about things, right? Open relationships are for everyone, aren't for everyone. I was asking to be in one and decline because it's not for me. Always best to be upfront, always best to be upfront, 100%. I'm not yet hired, so I don't know any co workers. I just don't know how they uh, could bust me since it's legal they can't i don't think so unless you're operating heavy machinery and stuff like this for heavy machinery you need to be clean right uh, i'm not doing any illegal drugs i.e uh, cannabis which is legal and what yeah but you know it, out, like for example alcohol is legal in most places in the world right but you're not going to drink and then go go to work right or go operate heavy machinery and stuff you shouldn't right uh, that rule holds for anything else right so uh, and you could search online hannah right i agree man what do they want from a, a carefree person to be stressed out in your mind you know crazy crazy <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> tell them tell ask them what you want them to care about like what what do they care about right or what are they passionate about it's also a work from home position on the computer so no machinery that's good how many years until all drugs are legalized right oh man i don't know and uh, it's gonna be a while chicho any advice on not uh, idolizing i feel like i am attracted to big bold partners and i tend to put them on pedestals currently trying uh cut the short circuit and not project so much on the other um sleepy waves if you like something then you like something like do you call that idolizing like is that what it is or is that the type of a lot of people have have this belief that we shouldn't be uh, attracted to a certain type of people but you are one of the best things i ever heard like one of the best things I ever heard. I can't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know where I heard this. I mean, it might have been a show. It might have been real life. It might have been a movie. It might have been a book. It might have been a comic book. I don't know. But the, someone mentioned something. The conversation went, um, uh, Picasso, uh, all three long-term partners of Picasso tried to kill themselves, right? And the person turned around and said, so what? So he had a type right there's nothing wrong with having a type right maybe 
I'm pretty sure Picasso was pretty depressed too. <laughs> Maybe he was attracted to other people that were depressed. If you like people that are, what did you call it? Big bold partners. There's nothing wrong with that, right? That is what you're attracted to. We all have our are things that we're attracted to right it doesn't necessarily have to be physical it could be emotional it could be intellectual it could be anything right i don't know why if you're idolizing him if they're if they're your kink then yeah you don't want your kink to rule you you want to rule your kink right your kink is your tool so you have to draw a boundary there right I've looked online many times, haven't been able to find anything. Hannah, I don't know. I've never been in that situation, Hannah. So I don't know how to deal with that. If you always have weed, it can stay in your system for one to two months. I guess if you're worried, don't have it for, for that long. Yeah. Atomic. Great advice, Atomic. Thank you. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just when are you going to start working? Take a break from cannabis, right? There's nothing wrong with taking a break, right? Stop drinking alcohol for a while. You'll feel amazing, right? Give your time, body time to recoup. And as Atomic says, don't partake for a few months until you get into the rhythm and you show to the company that you're really good, right? You're worth your weight in gold, right? You're producing phenomenal work for them. And then see how things go if they require testing after that uh, there are kits you can buy that purge that stuff out of your system cookie the second cookie Any addiction is bad addiction if you find that's a problem then look for someone to help you that's what I would say yeah great advice atomic great advice I want to do it tonight though I enjoy using cannabis one to two days a week I barely even use alcohol since I started using cannabis Hannah it's up to you it's your life how you want to live it right If that's the way you want to live it and the work doesn't allow you to be able to live your life the way you want to live it then maybe you should find new work if your work is important and cannabis if you're addicted to it then uh, maybe it's time to reconsider your addictions right lose cannabis lose made me lose weight I eat watermelon when I get the munchies cool oh man my comment doesn't show up is it too long I try writing oh no uh, Nikki I don't know maybe don't do it so long when the when the text is too long the the comment I think should tell you that it's too long so do it in chunks write a couple of sentences post it write a couple of sentences and post it or read it all in one shot oh I'm sorry if it's doing that twitch what type of cookies that you chose looks great this is uh, homemade my mom made this it's almond very crispy and it's got the uh, icing sugar is it icing sugar what is that powdered sugar on top okay it's really good i know how to make this <laughs> i used to make it in the 2000s when we had a farmer's market going on we'll try it. thanks okay thank you. i'm not addicted to it i don't use it daily or or depend uh, depend that I can only handle one to the maximum otherwise uh, but Hannah if this is gonna interfere with your work and if you need to stop doing this to make sure you keep your job a job that you I'm assuming you really like that that you need then you need to stop that if that job is on the line right I don't know what your job is since you brought it up it might be a concern for you right have you ever found yourself being too self conscious in a relationship and then having it affect everything? oh yeah for sure intrepid yeah for sure 
hundred percent, right? The, we all go through periods where our self-esteem is low, right? Where we might have made mistakes, or we're anxious, or we think we're under the lights, or we're questioning our decisions. That affects your relationship with your partner. If one of those things, if work is important, then don't do it. Simple as, as you know. Yeah. I met my wife as she served my me beer during a festival. I had been in a lot of relationships by then, all unique and different, but none like her. Nice. Nice. So I have some some of my closest friends or people that I met that. Uh, they were either bartenders, servers, uh, or working in the industry, right? I moved in with her, married her, had kids with her, and I still feel like we're barely beginning to uh, to get to know each other. Awesome. Awesome, Nikki. Sleepy waves. <laughs> what kind of tools are helpful when carving out boundaries with people? For instance, last time working through boundaries with someone, we talked about physical, emotional intimacy, work, mutual circles. What else can be helpful in uh, considering? Oof, that's a lot of stuff right there, sleepy waves. Uh, emotional intimacy, work, mutual circles, uh, health. Health would be important. Food, diet, just and everything. But that stuff should come up slowly. Entertainment is important. The type of music you enjoy, the type of movies you like watching, the type of shows, the type of books, uh, what you do on your pastime is really important. Okay, it's okay to have different loves, right? That your partner doesn't want to do, and the odds are she does stuff or he does stuff that you don't want to do, right? But it's really important to mesh in the middle somewhere that have similar loves where you want to spend your time. It's so strange, Nikki says. I sometimes can't believe she's real. Not because she's so amazing, per se, but because she's so different from the type of person I usually enjoy. Nice, Nikki. Dude, sounds like you're in an amazing relationship. Hannah, but they haven't started. Whatever I can do, it or not, per company policy, they never stated it in the interview. Hannah, if you're worried about it, stop doing it. So, you don't you know you don't start off on the wrong foot with the company if they haven't said anything it's up to you really you got two two choices you got to do one right you either continue the way you are or stop this solidify this for a few months and then start this again if you enjoy it or look somewhere else right or look from somewhere else <laughs> today i'm getting the cough more i'm not sure why i've been dealing with a lot of students and for those of you who don't have kids in school have never dealt with uh, education system or forgotten how the education system works this the second half of the school year is busy time for students for parents for everything right coming out of the winter because people are trying to get their marks up and they're realizing they're failing something they're trying to do a lot of work and stuff like this so school season just picks up picks up picks up goes crazy insane don't get this online dating thing how hard is it to find uh where like-minded people uh, congregate a uh, zoot very difficult really very difficult when it comes to dating never date anybody you are not sexually attracted to um i disagree because sometimes you can start dating someone and then slowly start becoming sexually very attracted to them right and who knows when you will find the best friend or the other sex uh, of the other sex you get what you put put time into yeah i agree with that zoot but a lot of people live busy lives a lot of people because of the internet because of 
the information, free flow of information, people could be living in a community where there are too many like-minded people around them, right? So you have to be online to meet like-minded people, people who are interested in the same things you are, to possibly arrange a date where you meet somewhere and get to know each other in person more. I think it's difficult. I think it's difficult. Advice for letting go, particularly when you, when you will mostly like see, uh, mostly like see the person again. Most no, will mostly, most likely see the person again. I'm assuming that's what it said. Um, uh, time. It's just time, right? Right? Coronavirus coughing? No. But mind you, I did get a, the the flu I got was the first day of January, right? That's lingering around, but it was a virus going around in this part. Um, but sleepy ways, I would say time. No matter how bad you feel, like how much you hurt, how painful it is, how much of a void is left in your life when a relationship breaks up, right? Give it time. And slowly that pain subsides slowly you will meet amazing people because you have a vacuum right you'll meet amazing people and get to know them and fall in love again and have amazing relationships just don't be bitter about it right Nikki let's check it out continuation of the story we like this I was coming out of a spiritual and psychological metamorphosis when I met her and I am very grateful that I was able to put aside expectations to begin a journey to a land unknown with this person. Pay attention in life. We don't always know what we want. Nikki, very well said. And pay attention because sometimes an amazing thing crosses your path. And if you're not aware, you might accidentally miss it, right? You can't catch every amazing wave that comes your way. But catch some of them anyway and amazing people well said nikki twitch was killing this beautiful message did i hear school hello peeps just call me hond or lurky please okay hond welcome to our stream i think it's fair to say that those you love don't have to love lo love what you like but have to appreciate that you love what you do and they should be happy with that yeah terms and conditions apply terms and conditions apply for sure and one thing i could i could say and i'm guilty of this as well in when you have relationships your partner might like something that you find uh, silly don't make fun of your partner's loves right because what they'll do they'll slowly stop sharing that love that they have for this thing whatever it might be and that's something you're missing out of their lives right so whatever they love whatever they like right even though you might think it's silly or stupid or whatever it is don't put them down for it let them appreciate it and sometimes appreciate it with them if you get the chance you'll get to know them better right and if they if you care for them if you think they're intelligent and you love their character and stuff like this if they love something man there's got to be something there for, to love right so enjoy it with them okay hello hellfire 12 12. after 25 i no longer uh, felt hurt from relationships it's uh it's like i don't care anymore uh the hellfire how old are you right now right it could be just a wave you're going through right the life is a wave sometimes you feel this way sometimes you feel that way right lurky how are you doing i like the little puppy you got the emote corgi hey this community brings it out of me <laughs> nikki nice <laughs> thank you for sharing it with us <laughs> really 28 yeah hellfire after 25 you've only lived three years after 25 you're 28 i can honestly tell you you're gonna get you're gonna fall in love and someone's gonna break your heart and man it's gonna hurt congratulations you felt love so hard that it hurt 
right? That's a good thing. I feel like it's really hard to form relationships with people if you don't really know why you want need in life, especially in other areas of life. So you're meeting people from a place of strength instead of need. Um, you don't have to be meeting people in, in, in a place of strength or need. You're meeting people through your life cycle, right? Sometimes you're riding high, sometimes you're low. Uh, that wave, hopefully, is not going to last in one location, neither high or low, right? Hopefully, you're going to go through waves. Um, sleepy waves, don't overthink the relationship too, too much, right? Just put it out there saying, okay, you want someone to enjoy shows with and see where that takes you. You would like someone to go to walk for walks with, to share food with, to cook with, to hold hands with, to be intimate with. Just slowly put it out there and see where it takes you, right? Um, it's not a business venture. If you do, if you're gonna get married, it's a business venture. You're signing a contract, you're forming a corporation as a business venture. You should go into it as a business venture, right? Hate to say it, but if you're gonna officially do paperwork at the government or religious institution or whatever involved in your business then it's a business venture but if it's two people you're in a relationship and you care about each other just spend time together just spend time together uh, if you find that they're not introducing anything delicious into your life then maybe you can move on if you like Right? But if you find that you're enjoying a lot of things that you wouldn't be enjoying if you weren't in this relationship, then man, uh, it's not a bad thing, right? I don't know about everyone else, but think if anyone loves something, it's a beautiful thing. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, atomic, well said, right? Well said. Uh, I'll put a little disclaimer in there. There is disclaimers in there, right? Uh, for sure but well set for the most part we all likely love something that's really silly to someone else anyway yeah i mean <laughs> try to try to explain to people <laughs> that you love reading comic books when you're a full-blown over the over the top adult right they're like what <laughs> I love it when people enjoy whatever they they are doing and are passionate about it, whether I understand it or not. Like two of my friends studied physics and work with lasers now and whatnot. They often explain stuff to me and I enjoy listening because they just seem to light up, spark joy of that point. Yeah, it's great, right? We need a lot more of that in our lives. Amazing people have amazing friends. A lot of guys hate when they fall into the friend zone. If the guy only cares about getting in your pants, he is not all that amazing. Yeah. 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 Even though they may be amazing or suck really badly in the intimacy part, right? Uh, really depends what they want, right? If they just want in your pants, then that's what they want, right? They don't really care about the whole other part of a relationship, right? I don't know if I agree with this 100%, but I love that song that Idris Ilba sings in Prometheus, quote, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. <laughs> you're trapped on an alien planet. <laughs> hilarious i don't know i don't know if i agree with that i think that's that's something that we're selling to generations in the past that there was a lot of people from previous generations that got married out of necessity right uh, or arranged uh, marriages and stuff like this and they end up loving the one they're with right because they can't have the one they love right or haven't found them you know, one thing I don't really put out there on my dating apps profile is my growing collection of statues and action figures. 
I'm big on those. Spent a lot of lot on that hobby these past few years. But it's not something I think women my age will get get per se. Not too confident about that hobby yet. <laughs> Lonely piggy. <laughs> One time <laughs> actually twice. I I was starting dating people and I and uh, one of them appreciated one of them didn't get it <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> i took them comic books <laughs> i said hey look read this <laughs> one of them was like what? actually they were like both like what the hell one of them thought it was funny right and it, it was appreciated right uh the kink or the the hobby right but they didn't really get in, get into it <laughs> and i never mentioned on any of my pages on dating stuff that uh, i had a comic book collection right uh, so that's more something to come out during conversations where you can laugh and explain right i mean i'm a programmer sometimes i find myself explaining something i find cool but I see their eyes glaze over, and I know like planes to abort, abort. <laughs> that was funny, Atomic. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Some people, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Like, I, I get into politics hardcore, right? I love politics. I love economics. And when I go off on this stuff and link up a few different things, I, I can see people are like deer eyes, right? They're like looking at me like, what? What? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> and then once I started something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to flow. And it takes me a little bit of time to sometimes look at them and go, oh, they totally lost me. I'll bring it back. I'd like to discuss the advantages of virtual C++ <laughs> destructors. <laughs> I hope the coughing is not too loud. It's a surprise for those I do eventually meet up with uh, or just hook up with. This is the action figures. My room is full of them displayed everywhere definitely very awkward more times than not but some just brush it off <laughs> you should see people when i had comic books on my wall they come in the comic books what's going on i put them i i put uh, if you see some of the comic books i have i put them in big frames now right so there's like legitimate expensive frames i've put them in. <laughs> some of the comic books are like one dollar comic books so the frame gives them more of an artistic feel so people don't go what the hell <laughs> it's funny it's funny i'm a c plus plus programmer and even i'm aborting <laughs> fun what are we in we're an hour and 20 minutes or so fun conversations gang good laughs good laughs i think this is what we all need right i need to drink water that was good nightbot just gave me an ultimatum thanks for the conversation it's been great hope to catch you all again soon peace nikki thank you very much for sharing the your story and typing it out three times uh, beautiful story your uh, your partner is very very lucky very very lucky as are you right as are you as you stated <coughs> fun definitely fun what are we doing tomorrow tomorrow we're doing mathematics lots of love right back brother lots of love right back we're doing uh, mathematics tomorrow by the way from two to four uh, two hours high school math you got questions pop in we'll answer whatever we can right and uh, thursday evening from 8 30 p.m to 10 30 p.m pacific time my time uh, we're going to look at the coronavirus, look at the data. 
uh, atomic what kind of math we doing we're doing uh, basically I'm making myself available for a couple of hours to help people in high school so high school mathematics pre-calc um, <coughs> very little statistics i'm not really going off on the stats too much but basically high school mathematics high school taught in canada which is way lower caliber than high school taught in certain other parts of the world and probably higher caliber than mathematics taught in other parts of the world right so pre-calculus we go as high as basically doing trick functions trick ratios logarithms exponentials and uh, graphing and stuff like this it's definitely funny because you wouldn't think I collect uh, that kind of stuff. I'm big on anime, so fa fans of that tend to understand it a lot better. Yeah. I, I uh, by the way, Lonely Piggy, I look, I get the previews catalog every month from the comic book store because I have a uh, pull box there, right? So, Elfire, math is math, interesting. Yeah, for sure. From two p.m to 4 p.m. tomorrow pacific time my time okay contra how are you doing welcome welcome um but what i do on the back of previews uh most of it is comic books but on the flip side there's about this much of um, action figures and stuff like this so i always flip through that a lot of cool things in there man and some of it ridiculously expensive like action figures that are like four hundred and fifty dollars i see some that are like eight hundred dollars it's like oh my god <laughs> that's lovely that is the terminology is different from the uk but sounds good yeah the uh the terminology is a little different in the uk you call it maths we call it math here no s at the end google it there are even pure virtual destructors makes sense really i gotta get it one day i'll get into programming maybe maybe ridiculously expensive indeed yep i know that feel all too well now yeah i've i only bought one action figure from the previews that i've ordered in the last i don't know <laughs> like 50 I, like, i've only like I don't have a toy collection, I don't have an action figure collection, but I ordered this, and that was the action figure from the, what was it called? <laughs> it was the the uh, live action show that had a cartoon in it as well. It was a barbarian. I forget what the character is called, and I knew the show was going to be canceled. Like there's no way that that was going to last more than one season because it was too amazing, right? Too niche. So I ordered that action figure. That's the only one I got, and I have other toys from previous years. Uh, when, when we were childhood like uh, transformers he-man and stuff like this 4f4 figurines are beautiful if you like video games statues cool but also very expensive very expensive i've seen some of the video game statues as well wow wow they look beautiful though right they look beautiful if someone wants to learn programming I recommend Python. C plus plus is hell. Is it okay? C plus plus is powerful though. Yeah, C plus plus has been around forever now, like so long now. I don't. Uh, I doubt you. Do do do. Blah, blah. I doubt you not. But I work twelve hours plus a day, uh, and CBA to think of programming during these times. There's a reason a lot of games are written in C++. Are they? Most gaming is C++? I've been putting paychecks on these things a lot. There's crazy work put into them. I love it. I hate what it does to my bank account, but love the hobby all the same. I did have to cut back quite a bit compared to when I started, though. Yeah, I go through waves with comic books as well not most but a lot but a lot okay contra c plus plus for gaming by the way lonely piggy these statues are they increasing the figurines i'm assuming some of these are increasing in value right they have good resale value yeah modern games in uh in unity are written in c hashtag much nicer than c plus plus 
C number sign. I don't even know about that language. Learn Julia if you want to do scientific computing. Julia, really? I've never heard of that either. Electriter. Electriter. Read as C sharp. Is that what it's called? C sharp. Ah, oh, that's cool. I didn't I don't never heard of that. C sharp. That tells you tells you when was the last time I looked into it. Modern game is Unity. Are written in C cool. False. It's funny because it's true. The boxed ones tend to tend to yeah. Oh yeah, not opened. Problem is I collect uh I collect out of box display it in cases and stuff cool so you if you take them out of the box and display it the value drops yeah that's unfortunate i would want to display it too right i was just watching a funny and interesting video on games that literally can't be beaten back in the 80s and 90s devs did that to get more money out of people trying huh it's funny the video games uh the arcade games yeah some of those games were ridiculously hard so hard donkey kong uh was it donkey kong that was one of them uh ridiculously hard man ridiculously hard once you open them value tends to dip a bit okay chicho do you have a partner yeah contra yeah this bookshelf is mainly hers right it's my longest relationship ever by a long shot what sort of books do you have on your shelf? <laughs> a lot of these are uh, food, health, nursing, uh, crystals, uh, esoteric stuff. Uh, I got lots of math and physics and construction books, comic books, science, science fiction, some politics, philosophy. A whole gambit. It is C-sharp because of the oh musical term of going up from c to c sharp oh that's what it is that's cool that's super cool green tech how you doing yeah sometimes in order to fit the game on the machine they would delete the ending altogether thinking nobody's gonna get this far anyway crude but also sort of funny is that what happened <laughs> 64 bit games they got 66 oh gotta take out the last two bit oops any advice for someone who finds it difficult to be vulnerable to people meet people uh contra my first bit of advice don't try to be vulnerable to everyone like for me i, I think i guess i think i have a hard time with that personally or i'm very selective who i'm vulnerable to right I know people i met people that are just everything on their sleeves as they say right oh their hearts on their sleeves their emotions on their sleeve and it gets too much like oh my god it's emotional roller coaster jeez louise and some other people be solid and with the right person you can let loose that being said we all go through periods where we're wearing our hearts on our sleeves the world is too much and we have to let it out right so it really depends it really depends i would say be selective personally and once you find the right people don't overwhelm them in one shot and share as well if you're uh being vulnerable to them don't use them as a doormat to wipe your feet and every time you see them be vulnerable to them allow them to show their uh, vulnerability to you as well right it's a two-way thing otherwise it won't work wish i could show you my main books i have a random array of c plus book and physics books i don't have a bookshelf so it's just piled on the floor ah oh, atomic i got videos out i got two or three videos out uh at least three i'm pretty sure at least three videos out of showing you my book collections and there's more i have to make there's a couple i have where we're actually filling up because i built this bookshelf so I built the first phase of this bookshelf. We fill up this bookshelf. 
or show you the books that I put on this bookshelf. And then I put a top layer on it and I showed another video of unboxing books and stuff. I have a fair bit of actually programming books as well. C++ and some of the other ones and C and uh, Fortran and Pascal and, and whatnot. I don't know why I kept those. I'm only vulnerable when I'm around my best friends and some family members. Okay. That's a lot of people though. Best friends and family. I'm not vulnerable around all my best friends or all my family members. They're only less than five. Less than three, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Green tech. No, no, less than five for sure. I think for me, I did better when I stopped actively trying. If you are trying to be vulnerable or make a relationship you have with someone serious, you are kind of barreling towards a goal rather than being in the moment and natural, you know. Okay, cool. That's a good way of putting a green tech for sure. That's cool though. Serious, you're kind of barreling towards a goal rather than being in the moment. That's cool. I think if a woman doesn't know you enough, being vulnerable with her will make you appear weak and hence non desirable. To some, maybe. To some, maybe. To, depending on their age, by the way. Is there a collectible channel on Discord? Uh, I'd show you some of my pieces. I don't know. Oh, and on our Discord page, uh, you can put it in uh, comic books because I'm assuming some of these are related to comic books. That'd be awesome. Post pictures in the comic book section, Lonely Piggy, for sure. Or we have an anime section as well. So if you have anime, oh, dude, for sure. If you have anime action figures, post them in our anime Discord page. I thought uh, initially you said on uh, on Twitch, is there any collectible channels on Twitch? Collect on our Discord page for sure. So anime uh, page uh, folder and uh, comic book folder definitely fit that category. And if you have action figure uh, movie TV shows, post them in the film folder, right? And if people want, we'll create a whole folder for action figures and stuff and figurines. Let's call them figurines, I guess. And if you want, uh, let me know. I'll create a folder if you want a specific folder for figurines. I'm 23 and haven't really been in a serious relationship while my peers are getting married and whatnot. If they're getting married when they're 23, they're idiots. They're too young. <laughs> okay. Most of my life up to this point has been my focus on making a living. I'm not really a soci sociable person in general, so I never really have sought out a relationship other than just physical needs. Uh, contra, 23 is young. I can honestly tell you I never got into any major serious relationship until I was older than 23, well, much older than 23, right? So don't be in a rush. I knew people too that they got married when they were 19, 20. Man, what a nightmare that would have been for me or anyone that would marry me if I was 20 or 20, you know, 19, 20, 23. If I was in my early 20s, I would have felt sorry for anyone that would have married me, right? It wouldn't have lasted. It would have been a nightmare. Evening all. Mick Silva, how are you doing? Hope all is well. Doing good, doing good. Yeah, me too. I don't have a lot of best friends. Are you man or woman, Contra? I'm a guy. All relationships take a lot of work. Uh, the not dating unless you are sexually attracted to them gets me in trouble, especially with my gay friends. To many of my single male friends, tell me, tell me, many women are just looking for a free meal. Q, a way, a way to a woman's heart is not through her stomach. A way through a woman's heart. Actually, if you cook for them, you'd be amazed, Zut cook for them that gets a woman or anyone falling in love with you so fast i don't know if it's a uh, cultural thing but i notice american people boop, are lots of friends where i'd say they're just people i know yeah yeah and and it's and it's and i think to a certain degree it's the whole internet culture you know all oh, have friends like some of these social numbers how many friends do you have a thousand a thousand friends <laughs> that's crazy 
You can only remember like 125 of them, right? Oh, we got a troll. I log on to Twitch TV to chat with people and watch a good streamer. Doop. Wait a second. And you guys fucking spam the chat with your dumb comments. Hmm. Girl. Okay, time out. <sighs> time out. Auto mod grabbed it, but I'll time out anyway. Harden Travel Agency. Time out. Da, da, da. Life isn't cut and dry. You just need to live and find someone who makes you happy rather than lustful and keep yourself going. The marriage is a one off, but like people moving in together, years of being together, etc., it makes me feel kind of lonely. Uh, Contra, I've gone through the same periods, really. I've gone through the same stuff. We all do, right? Um, it'll, time solves it. You will meet someone, right? I, I've gone through periods where I couldn't communicate with anyone. Like it was just, wasn't meshing it with anyone. You get lonely, right? And then all of a sudden when you're not looking, wow, what was that, right? And then you're in an amazing relationship for however long it lasts. and. You know, sometimes you break apart and break your heart and get lonely and then boop, 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 boop. When I was 23, I was romantically kind of an idiot. It takes time to learn those things. Yeah, yeah, me too. <clears throat> I've had two main relationships, one childhood from 14 to 19 and 19 to 23. Now I'm 25. Many people are also getting married and having children and I couldn't think of anything worse right now for me it's just having fun building my life portfolio by working a secure securing security until then i'll pass yeah you'll find someone too yeah contra seriously don't be in a rush i know sometimes you just need need that connection uh, most of us almost everyone has been through that right uh, i would say sometimes enjoy the the lonely periods because once you get in a serious relationship and connect up long term you won't have that sensation right sometimes those lonely periods get you reading books that you would have never read it going out to places where you never would have gone right so use it as a catapult to get you more life experience i can only cook pasta then cook it well right learn how to make nice sauces have a little salad on the side right bipster hey chicho i need to speak out loud about how i feel about my father alzheimer's is too fucking tough yeah brother by the way guy girl no matter family matter what by the way guy no matter family matter yeah brother alzheimer's i've known people with uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, MS. Uh, MS is different than Alzheimer's and the mind, right? Giving way. Um, brutal, brutal, brutal. Yeah, like there's no other word for it, man. Left up is right. Oh, for sure. I probably have a have a have an ear real life circle of like 15 or so friends but i consider three of them true friends that if i was really in a tough spot i know they drop anything to help me nice i think you have to realize sometimes just uh because you would you would go so far for someone doesn't mean they would go just as far for you with friendships and romance and that's something to consider and that is something to consider for sure for sure thanks everyone contra says our pleasure contra really we've all been through it man and for sure as green tech says uh during hard times is when you find out who your friends truly are right who you can count on and that's a good thing 
right? When you go through hard times, everyone thinks it's all bad. It's not all bad. You find out who your true friends are. You find out which family members you can rely on. You find out your own finances, your own abilities, your own powers, right? And then when you build yourself back up again, you're so much more powerful. You, your vision is so much grander and you've cleaned house, all right? Being single is the best all the time for yourself. You do dress, live in any fashion you want. And you don't have to listen to several hours of her talking about her problems at work or with her friends every day. You just feel like a king hellfire. <laughs> and to a degree, I, I agree with you. Being single is is amazing, right? As is being in a relationship, right? Uh, single life is, if you use your singleness properly, it's brilliant 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 right just have the feeling that i'm wasting my youth i realize i'm really young but contra you youth youth wastes youth did i waste my youth i don't know was it wasting my youth doing all the stupid stuff i did thinking all the stupid things uh i thought right wasting all the time that i did uh and all no it's made me who i am now so enjoy your solo time read books go go to events go to go to movies by yourself like really uh, go to shows by yourself just appreciate your own time there might be coming a time where you will not have time for yourself right the the biggest thing that most people in relationships especially those who have children say is they got they have no time for themselves right they're just constantly busy it's dev it's very difficult right i'm a very cynical person but i found helping other people i know has really brought me out of my thinking i think finding a bit of hope is always nice agreed with you atomic for sure helping others brings some of the greatest has brought some of the greatest joys in my life really I was described as someone so cynical that if they were in front of me, I wouldn't believe they were there. <laughs> uh, Mick, 100%. Personally, alone time in my eyes isn't lonely. It gives you a it gives you an incredible amount of time to be with yourself. The only person deep down you can ever truly trust to focus solely on yourself along with expanding your thoughts on everything you're surrounded by once you come out of the other side you'll be better for it it certainly was anyway i certainly was anyway yeah mick i i tend to agree uh, there's a couple of things i would say um, sometimes you might be alone for too long and you do need that social interaction and stuff but in general solo time is not a bad time if you use it properly okay chicho thanks for your knowledge i really needed this right now awesome bips bipster thanks for popping in uh thanks for being here and the conversation is right twice cooking cooked pork how are you doing boop boop <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> would like to clarify that i love being alone just see a mismatch between friends being in relationships where i haven't even been in one that's serious a contra i have i wasn't in a serious relationship until my late 20s All right uh so don't be in a rush message held oh we're gonna allow this zoot you got zapped i had to allow it manually all i regret about my youth is the worrying and sadness yeah and there's a lot of it right and there's a lot of it for sure and by the way contra here's one thing if you're single and all your friends are couples stop hanging around them as much as you do really there, there's three level four levels of relationships really three levels but two of them you can put together let's say four levels there's a single life right there's the which involves dating right there's a relationship life there's the married life without kids 
which is sort of relationship, but it's a little bit more. And then there's a married life with kids. The single person interacting with married people with kids, it shouldn't occur too much, right? You have friends that are married that have kids, you hang around with them, have a great time and stuff, but their thoughts on their kids and your thoughts are something else, right? Single person with married people, it's okay, right? But if all their friends are married and couples and you're going to all, no nah, man, pull out. Go by yourself, sit in the bar, have a drink. Meet some other single people, right? That's one of the, again, take my advice as a grain of salt, please. Go to a movie by yourself. You don't have to go sit in the bar and drink. You could go to a cannabis cafe. You could go to a bar. You could go to a movie. You could go run. You could go play pool by yourself. I used to go play pool by myself and meet people, right? fantastic time for sure some people can be surrounded by others 24 7 and actually still feel lonely yeah others can be alone and not feel alone it's all about balance and how you relate to those that are around you 100 agreed green tech right interesting new phenomenon where the males take over the household cooking duties mine mine knows his way around the bbq but is always having meat or cheese <laughs> way to go i can't <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah for for me uh most of my relationships i've been the main kitchen person actually all of my relationships i've been the main food person right and i wouldn't have it any other way really i love it i'm gonna say i'm gonna say good night for now okay atomic good night I have a meeting tomorrow at a.m. and it's at 12 p.m. I don't like it. Okay, have a fantastic sleep, Atomic. Thank you for popping in. Have a good night. Good night. That's good advice, Contra says. My relationship definitely changed when a close friend had a kid. I'm happy to be honorary uncle and play with the little dude, but it's not like when we were one on one hanging out at 4 a.m with mcdonald's and gaming and smoke haha <laughs> he has responsibilities now i understand that yeah and i have very close friends that have kids and i still we still hang around uh, but it, it's not the way it was before i love spider-man how are you doing we talking about relationships we are talking about relationships we're almost at the end of the stream too i know this might feel extreme but i stop hanging around with college friends right after graduation this way i can be entirely myself and stop comparing myself and my life progress with them all the time now i am my own uh customized person nice hellfire and yeah if you're out of college hanging around college college kids it's it's a nightmare right there when i was in university there's a period i didn't party i was just focused on school 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 but there's a period i did right during that period that i did man i can't even imagine me hanging around someone like that now what a nightmare <laughs> a nightmare good evening chicho Loki, how are you doing hope you're doing well what helped me realize a lot of things were aristotle and others ancient greek virtual ethics then you see uh why many people act the way they do while also opening your eyes to evaluate yourself i suggest suggest it to anyone truly fascinating really mick so aristotle okay ancient greek i don't know what k-e-k-w is you laugh at you laugh but have a read and you'll see yourself what's uh k-e-k-w i gotta look this up i've never seen that acronym before let's look it up let's look it up what is that <sighs> okay someone's got to tell me what it is because i can't find it not speedy gonzalez it's an emote in many other channels is it an emote in many other channels okay <laughs> now we know it's like laughing at someone okay 
Yeah, you can't laugh at someone that mentions it's not what it is. mentioning Greek ancient Greek philosophy. That's the foundation of most of our societies. <laughs> like laugh out loud, that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that is de definitely not ridiculous, right? Ancient Greek philosophy is really the foundation of our political social structures in the Western world in a big way. And that reflects all to our societies and the way we interact with each other without a doubt. Looky, looky, someone else quoting Aristotle today. Don't ever laugh at me again. <laughs> you should check out Eastern philosophy as well. Like Taoism, Zen, yeah, for sure, Hellfire. Yeah, for sure. All ancient philosophies, right? All of them. Sufism. Look into Persian poetry. My God, the depth of four lines. There's some poetry, Persian poetry. It's just four lines. But up, but up. But up, but up. You read that, you're like, oh, heavy. You need to go for a walk to try to absorb it all, right? It's good to expand your mind and see different perspectives. 100%. 100%. It's beautiful, actually. Fun. What do you think about social hierarchies and group dynamics when it comes to dating and mate pairing? Uh, I don't get involved in that social hierarchy stuff. Uh, it's I've yeah. For me, I the social status of someone doesn't mean crap to me. It really doesn't. I <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't date anyone from the royal family if that's what you mean. I've dabbled in a little. But it's definitely on the list. Oh, that's Eastern philosophy. Hey, Chicho, just an idea. Book club stream. You assign reading and discuss it with chat. Yeah, Contra. We've done some book videos, book clubs. We did the reading for. <coughs> we did some readings for uh, Skin in the Game. I still. You know what? I've been meaning to do more stuff. That was a plan, but just caught up on everything else so we did a book reading live stream reading of this and i put out a couple of videos on this recommend reading this right. and we did one for Wil wilhelm reich's mass psychology of fascism we did a reading of it and talked a little bit about it i mentioned that i was gonna introduce more books but this is the book that i'm reading right now and i haven't finished it yet so i haven't started on the book yet and i believe we did uh don't know if we did or not, but I mentioned we looked at this during the textbook reading, how to read a textbook, Days of Destruction, Days of Revolt. And I'm pretty sure we put out another video talking about this and reading a little bit about this, if I recall correctly. Right. So book clubs is definitely something I plan on doing and we have done. And we did uh, uh, The Magician by, uh, oh, I forgot his name. All right, that's uh, Fantasy. Uh, books right you're not involved talking about books you're not involved so you have a clear view on it is my point even shorter readings like the sufi poems you were talking yeah uh contra i have one that i've been planning it's not here it's up top i've been planning to do a reading of and it's a hard cover book that we brought from iran from the 19 the book is from the 1970s or 1960s and it's beautiful artwork and it's got the four line poetries and i've been meaning to do a reading of it just the way we do the comic books put the book up and start reading it and it has it printed the poems in six different languages on the same page All right we as soon as a lot on my plates right <clears throat> 1984 1984 1984 would motivate me to read in general and i love talking about books yeah you're not involved so you have a papa even shorter okay so i missed the other one all right i need to head out okay lonely piggy thanks for sticking around we're almost on the stream as well 
Uh, thank you for the conversations. Awesome, st awesome stream as always, Chicho. Posted a few of my collectibles in the anime channel on Discord. Nice too. Uh, my my phone's camera is pretty crappy, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Enjoy your evening. You too, Lonely Piggy. Thanks for popping in. I'll check those videos out. Quote. The books look so huge. <laughs> Some of these are. This one's big. Uh, something to look forward to. Nice. Is that a singing bowl in the background? Yeah. Should we do? Feel like Alan Watts. <laughs> what is your point of view in the studying of relationship within what they call game? Uh, like game theory? I don't know. I don't know if I have any point of view in the study of relationships within what they call game. I don't know. I don't know what that refers to, Hellfire. What do you think about World War Three? World of Warcraft 3 or World War 3? That's a political stream. We had that two days ago. About two years ago, streamer, then no longer streamer, did a semi-book club and covered 1984. And it was so, so fun to watch the reaction from chat as they read and understood related and uh, related it to the world. Really? Okay, Mick, 1984, maybe that's a good idea. We do have a book club on the Discord page, right? Put a recommendation maybe we we'll do a little bit of reading on it right we've done a reading of also one of the books which is uh general smedley butler's war is a racket i read the whole thing right and we also did a reading of uh, krishnamurti's education and the significance of life segments of it right i do have a book cl uh, book club playlist i should mention that as well jeez youtube if you go to my youtube channel go to playlist there should be a book club playlist and everything we've done regarding books is in that playlist don't end the stream i'm so sad i missed most of it oh no your streams are like a med medication to my depression oh spider-man i'm sorry we we have to end it i have some work i gotta do i gotta go see some students and stuff now uh, i'll be back tomorrow two to four again okay um uh, and the video will be a, you can watch the video by the way on uh, twitch right on the replay and i don't know how many days from now we'll have it up on youtube and bit shoot uh, so yeah sorry and my voice is <coughs> is maxing out at these two hour streams <coughs> this is the first time since coming off the flu for 2020 that i'm putting four streams together in a row we'll see how my voice holds out uh, tomorrow and the next day first dream i ever saw of yours was about a book we both read you had a lot of patience with me when i disagreed with you don't remember the book ah really zoot i wonder which book it was which book was it i don't know game game like in mysteries and neil strauss methods Mis uh, neil strauss neil strauss i gotta remember i don't know hellfire if you uh, link something up on Discord, I can read it up and I'll give you my take on it. Yeah, Smedley Butler was also the guy who exposed a business plot, uh, the alleged political conspiracy, 1933. Yeah, Mick, right? They came up to him and they tried to get them to overthrow the government. <laughs> <It's> like, what? <laughs> get all these people, right? It's okay. I appreciate it and I love watching the videos. on Awesome. I love Spider Man. Students. I had no idea you were a professor. That's awesome. I'm not a professor. I'm not a professor. I don't even have my teaching certificate. <laughs> the goatee might make you think I'm a professor. No. I'll, I, I, I don't, can't do the centralized institution systems. I'm not an academic, right? And not that you have to be an academic to be a professor, but I haven't gone that route. I do solo as private, private business that I have that I've had for 20 years uh, working with students and whatnot, right? And I focus on elementary, 
high school and a little bit of university or college okay how about we call it a stream gang okay that was fun thank you for being here thank you for the conversations you've been awesome professor maybe i'll play one on a tv show <laughs> Uh, thanks for being here, gang. Thank you for the conversations. If you can make it tomorrow from 2 to 4, math stream. And Thursday from 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., we're going to look at the data and have a discussion regarding the coronavirus and whatnot, see where it takes us. Don't you need a teaching certificate by law? No. I can just, just do private, right? If I want to teach in the institution, be hired by the institution, yeah. To do private, you don't. Have a good day. You too, Contra. Hey, Chicho, just finished writing. How much did I miss? It, we're taking off, Starsky. We're taking off. No, you're finishing. Yeah. On the two-hour mark, exactly. Couldn't have time that better if you tried. Nice, nice. Did you ever teach high school? I, I have high school students. I don't, not inside an institution. No. No, they won't let me. And I wouldn't survive more than a week. They would tell me to stop teaching some of the things i'm teaching and the way i'm teaching it <laughs> i think the curriculum is horrendous so it wouldn't work take care chicho and chat you too mick you too okay gang we'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it on thursday otherwise future streams i teach too awesome awesome teachers stick together <laughs> bye gang really the beard always made me think you some very Hello, she's close by. <laughs> My gang. <laughs>